Today's tutorial is a nude makeup look. I got inspired by someone off Snapchat. One of my amazing followers told me do a nude makeup look when I asked for inspiration. And I was like, what's a nude makeup look? And I'm like, duh, just a nude makeup look. So I said, I'm gonna wing it, I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna film it for you guys. So this look has no blacks, no dark colors, no color colors, nude, simple, plain, beautiful. I love it, I wanna wear it every day, and yeah, if you guys wanna learn how to achieve the look, please keep watching. So I'm taking my foundation on a beauty blender. I am using my Double Wear Estee Lauder foundation in the shade Tawny. Just gonna be dabbing it into my skin with the butt side of the beauty blender. I'm not gonna be putting any foundation underneath here because that is where I'm gonna be highlighting with my concealer. For my concealer, I'm gonna be mixing I'm gonna be mixing NW20 and NW25 by MAC. It is the Pro Longwear Concealers, my absolute favorite. To hide any dark circles and highlight. And of course this mouth comes with it too. I'm gonna also bring this onto my eyelids because this will act as my primer. I have very thin skin on my eyelids, so my veins and any discoloration does pop out. But one layer of this and you're good to go. I'm going to be taking my Crayolan Ultra Foundation Trio in the shade D. Yeah, this is called D. This yellow color to highlight and this darker color to contour. Just to even out my complexion, I don't want only this area to be light. I want my whole skin to look even. So I'm taking a little bit of that yellow. Yes, free nose job. So just blend this out and it will blend fairly quickly because you don't want this to dry. That's possibly the most unattractive face ever. So once this blended out, I'm going to take a little bit of more foundation, just this much, and pat, pat it right along the lines where I finished blending the highlight, just so they kind of merge and become one. I'm just dipping my brush into the contour shade right here, and this was an angled brush. It's an old angled brush, so it's kind kind of dying out on me. As I'm contouring, I'm actually blending. I'm not just streaking my face. That might cause lines to stay and dry up on your skin. So as you're doing this, just blend it down. A little bit on my chin. And then for my nose, just dust some right there and on the sides of it. Super simple. And then buff this out. Here I'm just baking with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder to set in my whole face and prevent creases. And I also take this and I set my eyelid just so this prevents creasing and it's easier to blend out for when we go into shadows. I take whatever is left on the Beauty Blender and I just run that on in the middle of my forehead and then right between my brows and around my nose area and then this right here. Just like that, no additional product, just tapping out all of the oils. To define my contour a little bit more, I'm just gonna set this underneath right here and work my way down. So once that's done, I don't let it sit for a couple minutes or whatever, just when I'm done applying it, I just go in and I dust it out and oh, it smells so good. Oh, this is my favorite brush in the world to dust off any eye, prim eye primer, any face powder. This is the Morphe E2 and it's the softest, most luxurious brush that has ever touched my skin. Here I'm just bronzing up my skin using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette along with a Sigma E37 brush. So since this is a new tutorial, I'm going to be digging into my brand new 9N palette from Morphe for blush. This is what it looks like. 
I'm gonna be taking this shade right here. It's the most neutral, nude shade I could find. On top of that, I'm gonna be going in with Gold Deposit by MAC. It's just a mineralized skin finish. Mineralized skin finish. And I'm gonna be taking that on top of my blush. Now we're gonna go in and highlight thy skin. Rhymed! Just taking a little bit of Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop and mixing those two. So now for brows, we're going to be going in with Tab Nova Cosmetics. It's the brow duos. I'm going to be using the shade of Mink. I make really weird facial expressions when I'm doing my brows. Just an FYI. these hairs down to see what I'm missing in this area and I just simply fill it in super simple I have to make this face so I can see the exact shape and I just brush it out pretty much it taking my morphe m441 brush and creme brulee by makeup geek I'm just gonna dust this in my crease just to warm up the eye a bit So since this is a um, nude kind of makeup tutorial, I want to keep everything super neutral. I want to make sure that the eyes have some warmth into it with really soft nude tones and just emphasize on lashes. Next I'm taking Anastasia's Orange Matte, the Burnt Orange Matte shade. Same brush, same motions, just to warm up the eyes. So with this shade, I'm gonna actually bring some on the outer area right here, and whatever is left with my brush, just blend that back and forth. Next, I'm gonna be taking Free Spirit from the Tarte Lip Palette. It's just a very nice cream base shade, just like that. And go back in with your blending brush with no additional product on it and whisk the area where you stopped diffusing the shadow. Then taking any short shader brush, just like this one right here, I'm going to be taking the shade Creme Brulee, which is the first color that we put into our crease, and I'm going to run that against my lower lash line just to add some definition and darkness. We're just going to gradually make this darker. So I brought this shadow all the way to my inner corner right here. That is okay. We want it to be like that. We're not going to smoke out the lash line super, super dramatic and super heavy, but you want there to be a beautiful diffusion. <laughs> Next, taking an angled brush. This is a discontinued one from Morphe. And so was that short shader, that's why I didn't mention it. But any angle brush, angled brush will do. I'm just gonna be dipping in Fudge by Anastasia, one of my favorite matte brown shadows ever. I'm gonna push this against my lower lash line. Very thinly and super, super tight. I'm gonna run this across the whole lash line. So since we had the two shades prior to this brown, it already looks like the brown is blending into the shadows that we already applied. So that's the trick to it. But we're still gonna go back in and blend this out a little bit more, but this is my technique to just easing your life. Easing your life. Making your life easier is what I meant to say. 
So with no additional product, I'm gonna use this short shader brush to buff out the brown. Next, taking a pencil brush. This is from Makeup Addiction. It just says pencil. Any pencil brush will do. I'm gonna tap a little bit of the orange matte shadow into the brush and blend out everything. And we're gonna move on to highlighting the brow bone. So just like how I did my highlight with the, the Shimmering Skin Perfect Your Liquid, and then we put in the highlight. That's what I'm gonna do with my brows. I've been obsessing with that combination. I just take the same exact liquid form of Champagne Pop right here on my Luxie 223 Short Shader Brush. This is the best brush to highlight and carve your brow bone with, the best. I've tried so many, smaller, larger, thicker, bigger, fluffier, whatever the case is, this is the perfect brush because it's very round, it's not straight, it's not square, and it's not circular. So it's kind of like a, it goes like this. Ready guys, ready, I'm gonna go. It's like. I'm just lightly tapping and kind of carving out the lower area of my brow. And this automatically highlights it. I dust off whatever is left over on my brush and I go back in and I just smooth it out. Just like so. And I go back in with Prosecco Pop and Champagne Pop just to set it in and make my highlight much more stronger. You guys put your sunglasses on okay this is what a what i call a brow bone highlight i go back in with my blending brush with no product and blend everything out and there you have it when i have a matte lid i love to highlight my brow bone with a shimmery product just give your lashes a couple coats of mascara this is a l'oreal voluminous in carbon black. This is one of my favorite drugstore products. For lashes, I'm gonna be going in with Lash XO in the style Venus Vibe. This is what the lash looks like. It's very PC, stands out big time. Let me show it to you this way. It stands out, it's literally like a bubble. Next, take a little bit of a matte white shadow and dust it right in this inner corner to open up the eye. Just like this. I got Kylie's Lip Kit and Lip Gloss. Lip Kit is in the shade Exposed. Lip Gloss is in the shade So Cute. These are as nude as they get. I've never really tried them. I've tested it out once with one of the girls who had it this trio. But I just tested it, the color out and I just took it off. Um, this is kind of like a first impressions video of this. So I'm going to go in with the lip stain, the matte lip stain. And if I don't like it, if I, I heard it's drying. I don't, I don't know. I can't really judge that upon myself. But if it's too drying, I'm just going to pop on the lip gloss. It's just kind of orange. I've had these on a lot of my clients because they bring it with them and applying it is a very smooth and yeah, feels that way with me too. This is actually pretty orange for me. So I think I'll just line my, oh crap. Okay, I'm gonna have pocket. It smells like a, I don't know. It doesn't smell bad. It smells pretty good. It smells like a ginger cookie. I don't know. It smells like a type of cookie, pastry, dessert type of thing. Yeah. 
definitely not nude. It's good a moment to dry. But it's not bad. I really like the color. Okay guys, so that concludes my nude makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Everything on my face right now is neutral and nude. I love it. I'm digging it. You guys can skip the lashes and just pop on mascara if, and call it an everyday look. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you can see future tutorials. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.